Scientists have just discovered a gigantic, cosmic megastructure pointing at the Earth, and it shouldn't exist according to the laws of physics. What's going on here, and what's it all about? Why does this structure defy the laws of physics? Be sure to stay tuned until the end to see the crazy original footage, and if you like it, I'll be galactically happy about a thumbs up and a comment, because that's how we get the algorithm to show this exciting topic to even more people. Thank you, friends, and welcome. Do you know what my big dream has been for a long time? A thought that makes my heart beat faster every time, that we would discover a giant donut in space. And now this dream has come true, at least almost. Scientists have just discovered a gigantic cosmic structure, and it is ring-shaped. Consequently, it has been christened the Big Ring, but we could just as easily call it a cosmic donut. Wow, I love astronomy. The Big Ring is a colossal structure located at a distance of 9.2 billion light years from Earth. With a diameter of about 1.3 billion light years and a circumference of about 4 billion light years, it is truly monumental. By comparison, our galaxy, the Milky Way, has a diameter of 100,000 to 200,000 light years. If we calculate with 100,000, the Big Ring is 13,000 times larger than our galaxy which is already beyond our small minds with its size. If this ring were brighter and we could see it in the night sky, its size would be about the size of 15 full moons. And this gigantic structure was discovered by doctoral student Alexia Lopez. She had already detected another megastructure, the giant arc in the sky some time ago. Discovering two cosmic megastructures as a doctoral student is something you can do. I didn't discover anything during my time at the university, apart from the kiosk in the main building where you could buy beer. That was a good time. And now it's getting really strange. The most striking feature of the big ring is its unusual shape. From a distance, it appears circular, which gave it its name. But closer examination reveals that it is shaped like a coil or a corkscrew that is pointed directly at the Earth. A gigantic megastructure billions of light years across pointing towards Earth Oy way. We have already discovered many large clusters of galaxies, like Laniakea, our large supercluster of galaxies in which we are located and which consists of over 100,000 galaxies. But even the diameter of Laniakea is only 520 million light years. So something like the Big Ring is absolutely extraordinary, and we still don't really have any idea how such a structure is formed. Is the Big Ring a random arrangement of galaxies? or an indication of previously unknown physical phenomena in the universe? Does it perhaps even reveal some deeper order or underlying structure of the cosmos? There must be some secret hidden here because the big ring contradicts our fundamental physical assumptions about the cosmos. The cosmological principle. This principle, a cornerstone of cosmology, states that the universe is essentially homogeneous and isotopic on large scales. This means that it looks the same in every direction and at every location. Of course, within smaller structures such as on Earth in the solar system or within galaxies, everything looks different depending on which direction you look. But on the very large scales, the cosmos should actually be uniform. This cosmological principle is the backbone of our current cosmological models and is of crucial importance for our understanding of how the universe works. It assumes that the distribution of matter in the universe is uniform on large scales and that there is no preferred direction or position. If this basis were wrong, it would call into question all our calculations and predictions in cosmology. Kind of like that math test in school. After realizing at the very end, two minutes before handing it in, that the first step of the calculation was completely wrong. That happened to me every time. The discovery of structures such as the Big Ring and the Giant Arc therefore raises the question of whether the cosmological principle can be upheld to its full extent. Both structures are far larger than the theoretically predicted maximum size of the universe, which is around 1.2 billion light years. The discoverer, Alexia Lopez, describes it like this. The data we are looking at is so far away that it has taken half the life of the universe to get to us, so from a time that the universe was 1.8 times smaller than it is today. The identification of two ultra-large structures 
suggests the possibility that they form an even more extraordinary cosmological system. And the problem with these giant structures is not just their size, but also their spatial arrangement. The Big Ring and the Giant Arc are in the same cosmological neighborhood, which means that they existed at the same cosmic time, when the universe was only half as old as it is today. As a reminder, whenever we look into space, we are looking into the past. We see these structures as they looked when their light made its way to us. This spatial proximity of the two structures somehow raises the question of whether they are part of an even larger cosmic system that could possibly fundamentally change our idea of the distribution of matter in the universe. It's like when an archaeologist digs up two weathered columns, but they are only part of a gigantic ancient city underground. And when he digs further, he realizes that these two columns will lead him to uncovering the whole of Troy, or something. The question now is what these structures point to and how we can reconcile them with cosmology. One possible explanation could lie in alternative cosmological theories. One such theory, for example, is conformal cosmology, or CCC by physics legend Roger Penrose, which proposes that the universe undergoes infinite cycles of expansion and contraction. Under this theory, ring structures can appear in the universe and be remnants of past cycles. This is almost still a conservative explanation because there is another more erroneous approach, cosmic strings, which can be seen as topological defects in the space-time fabric of the universe. These tiny space-time folds may have formed in the early universe and then grown into these gigantic structures through expansion, like a scar that you get as a child and which then continues to grow and get bigger, like my scar here by the eye. So far, however, there is only very limited physical evidence for cosmic strings. This explanation should therefore be treated with caution. I would be very interested in your opinion. How did these cosmic megastructures come about, and how can they be reconciled with the cosmological principle? No matter how crazy your theory is, please feel free to write it in the comments, because I hope we can get an exciting discussion going. As soon as we have new insights into these ominous structures, I'll let you know straight away. But of course that's only possible if you subscribe to my channel. From the YouTube statistics, I know that over half of the viewers haven't subscribed at all. It's absolutely free and you'll never miss a galactic video again. So everyone, hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much. That wasn't the only spectacular discovery in recent days. Astronomers have discovered a black hole very close to Earth. It's the closest black hole to our planet ever. And it's so close that it's really incredible how we could have missed it until now. You can find out exactly where it is and whether it poses a threat to us in the video below. Be sure to take a look if you want to be spaghettified. And if you want to support my work, get some great plush planets and real meteorites in the Astro Shop. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, friends.